Hello and welcome to Angular 7 new features. My name is Christian Herr. I am the instructor and guide for this course. Here's a little bit about my background. I have over 20 plus years in web development and I love teaching as you can see here. I am a web instructor at Gateway Technical College here in Wisconsin, USA. I also facilitate at Boston University's CIS Master's Program and teach part-time at the University of California, Irvine and the Division of Continuing Education. I'm also an author and in my spare time, I like to roam around Quora and Stack Overflow, two of my favorite communities in the open source world. So that's about me. Let's take a look at what this course is all about. So we'll take a first look at Angular 7 and we'll see how you can upgrade version 6 to version 7 very easily. And we'll also look at some other new features right away and compare side by side both the old and new version of the Angular project. So you'll see that right away. And then we'll start in section two by creating our first new Angular 7 project using the new Angular 7 CLI. And that's pretty cool. And we'll look at some new features like the bundle budgets, do strap interface, and something about the URL segment class, which is part of the can load interface. That's pretty interesting as well. Then we'll finish it off in section three by looking at two new enhancements to the Angular and Material CDK the angle drag and drop and virtual scrolling features and those are amazing and I guarantee you're gonna like it okay and we'll take a look at a few of the new features as well so let's take a look at what you should know before you can take this course of course you should know web development know the big three languages HTML CSS JavaScript and know some TypeScript which is very similar to JavaScript so you should be fine there but also has some understanding of the angular 2 plus framework okay not angular js the angular 2 or higher and understand these paradigms and architectures the oop mvc mvvm architecture and finally you want to make sure you know your way around the command line interface we'll be using that to you know install projects and so forth you want to make sure you have these for your machine a modern computer with internet access in a modern web browser and then you can use any of these IDEs, whatever is best for you, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I will be using the Visual Studio Code for this course, which is free and open source, so that's pretty cool. And you want to make sure also you have the Node.js 8.9 or higher and the NPM 5.5.1 or higher installed on your machine. I think that's all you need. So if you are ready, I'm excited, and let's get started. 